A company in the Tennessee Valley is working to help just some of the thousands without basic necessities in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria devastated that U.S. territory. You can see some of the damage in this video. Way 31's Megan Dooley joins us live now in Huntsville with when the company expects to get those items to some of their own co-workers living on the island. Dan, Demetria, as we speak, those items are on their way to the, Dur the Duracoat workers as well as the Ultracoat workers, and they're on their way, and the company says that not only are those items for the workers, but they're also for anybody else who needs those are that are in need. Hurricane Maria ripped through Puerto Rico last week and uprooted the lives of nearly everyone who lives there. Even though the island is thousands of miles away, some in the Tennessee Valley have been directly impacted. Duraco Products and Exalta say they have co-workers in Puerto Rico and are working to get them all of the basic necessities. They were able to get big items from generators and power tools to, you know, toiletries, uh, medicine. They have seven people who work for the company in the U.S. territory and said they're making sure everything is being custom sent to what each employee and their family needs. You want to help, but you don't want to do the wrong thing or tie up the ports with the wrong kind of donations. So I think it's great that they were able to reach out to those folks and find out exactly what they need. Christy Lawson has been with the company for seven years and is one of the employees who helped pack everything up. It's a very, very heartwarming uh, feeling. Um, I love to do work like that and help people any way I can. Peggy Cuts has only seven months to loss in seven years, but says she too feels a sense of pride in the company for helping out their fellow employees. You get that sense of camaraderie. You're like, well, I know this person. I've worked with them, but now I can really see what a caring individual they are. Employees here said it took about two days to get everything together and that all the supplies should be to the families before next week. Reporting live in Huntsville, Megan Dooley, Way 31 News.